Welcome to IMOT Agri Forums, the Agraria YouTube channel. Welcome, sir. Could you please introduce yourself to our viewers, sir? Myself, Dr. Sivalangya Milayabalan. I'm basically an agricultural biotechnologist. I completed my doctorate degree in agriculture biotechnology at the Tamil Nadu Agriculture University in the year of 2010. So, past 15 years, I am working with the Bionar Research. So, I am going to share with how the artificial intelligence technology is going to be helpful for an agriculture sector. Though artificial intelligence has been a long discussed one, still people find it difficult to understand that. Could you please explain that in simple terms? So, as we know, in traditional agriculture, we are using manpower from seed to harvest. For seed sowing by hands, seed uh, planting by hands, and intercultural operation by hands, and harvesting by hands with the help of manpower. After that, in nowadays, we are changing in our agriculture into the mechanization. So every operation we are using machineries for tractor operator, mounted tractor operator, sprayer, and intercultural operation, sowing, harvesting, processing, everything we are using machineries. So why this technology was developed from traditional agriculture to missionary agriculture? Similarly, the artificial intelligence, how going to helpful for our agriculture sector? So without involvement of human beings, but the human knowledge should be involved as a machine to do all the operations. Okay, so how our human intelligence is going to helpful to train a machine? So that was the thing we are going to see about the artificial intelligent technology, how in our agriculture going to helpful for all the aspects, whether for costing and also the weed identification, plant identification, even displacement of uh, fertilizers in proper place and nutrition status of the leaf, even the ground penetration tool technology now arised. For example, ground net and tubers. You see underground what happening, how the tuber is forming, how much starch accumulating, even the maturity index of the fruits and vegetables. So all the things, the machine will answer it and do the operations. Okay, let's, I am going to share, we are published in our research in last August 2019 for how the artificial intelligence technology going to help for detection of pest and disease. Okay, so I'm going to detail, I'm going to explain the slides about how we develop the artificial intelligence technology for detect the pest and disease. Okay. Technology for agriculture. Okay, we know the human intelligence and artificial intelligence. So what is my HI, what is AI? Okay, so it is the stimulation of human intelligence process by machines, especially for computer system. The process including learning, reasoning and self-correction. Okay. The artificial intelligence is the process for learning and reasoning and self-correction. The machine will do all kind of things. Okay. The capability of machine to imitate intelligent human behaviors. How our human behaving, behavior, behaviors, similar like the machine will do all the things. Okay. Artificial intelligence is the computer system that perform tasks would usually require for human intelligence. So we need the human intelligence. Okay. That is for HI. This was how going to convert the machine learning process. The machine should learn what we are learning from the nature what we are learned from our natural agriculture field for pest disease and climatic condition and other things. So we the human intelligence should be converted into AI that is artificial intelligence with the help of machine learning. So machine learning we need a serious inputs and outputs. Okay. So we need a serious input or output. The statistical techniques that learn from a series of inputs and outputs. So we need to feed lot and lot data. That data will answer it. That data will feed on the machine. The machine will answer it properly. Okay, that is called the deep learning process. 
the algorithm that enables self learning mimic human intelligence okay so the machine will mimic like a human being okay so how the ai technology going to helpful for agriculture sector that is the important things yeah other sectors like a, a reading of man by population counting and population of the how many cars are there and inflation of money processing and share market everything the ai technology using how the ai technology going to help for our agriculture that is we are going to see in detail okay first you should know the machine will mimic like a human being with the help of machine learning okay that is for artificial intelligence the computer system the process including learning reasoning and self correction okay so first we, uh, we will go detail how did you get the idea of incorporating artificial intelligence in agriculture so as we know our traditional agriculture for sowing by hands intercultural operation by hands even harvesting even winnowing and processing as we know the traditional agriculture without involving any any machineries our forefathers did the operation of agriculture how this was going to change that is the thing we are now this era using machineries all kind of operation even sowing even intercultural operation even harvesting even processing even application of fertilizers and pesticide by aerial spraying and also the water by by spraying of sprinkler technology rain so many technology now it came the machinery technology with the help of human beings yeah we need to operate the machines every operation so we need to operate the human beings so how the ai technology without involving the human beings the manpower only we can use the intelligence the machine will operate by own that is called as robotics okay so the traditional agriculture to machinery agriculture now the era for robotics so what they will do we train the machine with the help of, with the help of data so for example this is for the monitoring of climatic condition local climatic condition local weather conditions how much moisture air moisture how much is soil moisture evaporation uh, transpiration and the cloud formation and temperature relative humidity so moist so based on the climatic condition we can apply the watering and other things similar like for pest and disease monitoring by robotics and also for plowing and seed sowing we need robotics this machine how they are training the machine that was the question without the human beings they will operate by own and also look out this robotics only harvesting in ripened tomato why unripened tomato they are not harvesting the productive cultivation you know nowadays the productive cultivation we are climatic change we are going for productive cultivation so the robotics should doing the all kind of operation proper placement of fertilizers water even harvesting even monitoring the growth and development also the inside environment condition so even pest monitoring system by machines without human beings without your absence of only the intelligence the human intelligence to training the machines they will do all kind of operation so traditional to machinery to no robotics involving for all kind of agriculture so india is going to very soon our our government also interested for this kind of technology for upcoming days upcoming years for increasing the production productivity for feeding our population density okay so let's see this is the main difference thanks for explaining in detail sir data is the foremost one in artificial intelligence can you please explain how you collect and analyze data okay so so that artificial intelligence the learning task okay learning task that is the machine learning machine learning to learn the machine to teach the machine so that we need data for example see the classification which one you are targeting pest or fruit or roots or leaf or this pest affected leaf or this in, in this insect is came out here so we need to know the classification the image so image data is for most important if you take object detection the group of images there with the different kind of animals duck is there cat is there so dog is there if you capturing the machine capturing the photos 
the machine will answer this is cat this is dog this is okay this is the duck like that so the object they will detect then now instant segment yeah this is cat this is dog this is leaf so the machine will learning that is for artificial intelligence so we need to knowledge and the knowledge should be planning and neural networks and make the machine learning then we can to develop the robotics the basic the basic important is the inputs a yeah, serious inputs of the machine to learn okay so how we are doing this operation so we are learning human learning we are learning through in childhood onwards if you are learning animals for example dog if you up to death if you show the dog image you won't answer you won't wrongly answer it is elephant so and comparisons okay cat and dog different dogs different animals so we are learning from the by seeing images how the machine will learn so we need to take to labeling oh labeling is the foremost important we need images so far for the machine learning process in, uh, for any kind of images we need minimum 1500 images to teach the machine minimum 1500 images to teach the machine this is dog this is if you take different kind of bush different kind of location so we take the images images to feed on the image and labeling labeling and annotate it annotate it and to learn and teaching your machine the machine will learning and give answer properly so this was the how we are training the machines that machine will answer it like as human beings okay so this is the steps so how we are learning similar like the machine will learning so take the photography in thousand images and labeling and feed in your machine with algorithm and make the matrix after that the machine will answer it okay so similar kind of training models we used for detection of pest and disease okay share us about your paper which is widely popular among indian technology applications so this is the very recently we published our paper artificial intelligent technology so detection of pest and disease of banana so we you know very well so globally so banana is the one of the commercial important fruit crops they are facing so many pest and disease and also it's a poor man apple so the farmers should answer on form field test will give answering how the ai technology so and also for example in traditional days the farmers taking the leaf and identify it into the agriculture offices and identify the disease what is the disease what is the recommendation is a time consuming process so we want to answer in the field itself now the internet era so the farmers can answer, get the answer in the field itself take the image and the image will give answer this is the disease this is the recommendation so these are the training model we made how we developed how we are utilizing this we'll see one by one so this is the planned methods in the year of 2019 august we published the research paper so if you find internet you will get the answers okay so this is the real time artificial intelligence app that is the name is tumini okay so tumini means this is too many is there in the and the, the language of uh, swahili that is a african language okay to hope in english so we are collaborated with the international center for traffic and agriculture and biodiversity international and also i am basically from imam institute of agriculture and technology by affiliated to tamil nadu agriculture university we developed this model for helpful for the farmers okay so the background you know very well i told already the most popular marketable fruit in banana so worldwide it is growing but the major problem for timingly detection of pest and disease okay we used a deep conventional neural network dcnn so transfer learning the machine we are have learned this is basically supported for the banana farmers the worldwide so the ai technology is using for detection okay so how we develop the technology okay we collected more than 33000 40000 images in our database okay different kind of disease okay we collected the image the image we labeling okay so the labeling the data yeah this is Fusarium affected plant. This is gum weevil affected plant. This is bunch of affected plants. This is leaf spot affected 
leaf and this is affected by the bacterial affected by the fruits we labeling labeling more than 45000 in different classification and data split up and we develop the model now we are using detection okay so so we are getting more than 90 percentage accuracy in our data so data is the gold okay so deep transfer learning methods we collect the image from different parts of the world china africa india and northern america so we collected in different places in different gps position different diseases we feed in our machine the machine learned well so we developed the app okay so we have so raw images the 12 raw images data sheet and 30 annotations and six model eight classes okay so banana sandha monas wilt fusarium wilt bunch of virus black scatoka yellow scatoka and pest com we will and also we need want to know the healthy banana and dried leaves so these are our classification data is the new gold for labeling and we want to test our machine will give answer properly or not okay so you know very well internationally the problem is fusarium wilt okay that is a banana disease and also the cicatoka leaf spot disease and banana pseudostom weevil and nematodes also you know 100 percent yield as the banana bunch of virus so how the farmers to detect okay so original data seed we collected different class different part of the plants and different disease we collected and annotated and trained our machine so now we current data sheet so we have more than 25,000 photo images we are daily collecting collecting and feeding feeding our machine so minimum we need 700 images for first initial training after revalidation we need more than 1500 or 1000 the proper answer will give our machines so this is the data sheet the data is the foremost important so collecting images from different parts of the world different parts of the plants so we feed on our machine the machine now ready for answering all the questions okay so this is the part we annotated so 30,000 images totally we collected and made annotation and given accuracy the technology is wonderful sir could you please explain how farmers could use this so this is the finally we derived the app okay so this app is basically six languages with the help of internet and also very recently we are going to develop for offline model also going to release so this app including root portion and whole plant scan pseudo stem cut and fruit cut and fruit bunches and leaf these are the main six classification if you choose the part and take the images from your banana plant the machine will give answer yeah the plant is affected by this disease yeah the plant is healthily 99 percentage the plant is affected by this pest okay this pest control measures okay this is the holistic view this fruit bunch is healthily the fruit bunch having bacteria the leaf having the leaf spot disease the soda sun cut the fungal is there so immediately on farm itself the farmers can able to get the answer and detection of disease no need to wasting time to send the samples to the laboratory or send to the uh, agriculture offices or uh, are a specialist and get the answer so it's on form detection tool with the help of mobile technology so see the technology developments okay so so if you take this was the images okay raw images take the photo see the background is building is that neem plant is that building or there other things only to detect the banana to capture so if you give take it's a two-step process take the image scan and give the recommendation the plant is healthily 83 percentage healthily immediately will are the answers similar like so this is a confusion matrix to made identification to accuracy okay so this was the statistical application the serious inputs and serious outputs we are getting this is our model okay so i don't want this detail so now the app is available in the google play store freely for the farmers with five languages okay so so how detecting so the like example for fusarium wilt so i am feeding the image okay i am taking the image you see the image 
so so many trees are arica palm is there and other plant also the soil is there so so many banana plants are there to feed the machine to scan okay immediately it will scan it it will tell see the plant 96 percentage affected by fusarium wilt so remaining plant 67 percentage is healthily so 54 percentage other plant is for fusarium wilt so immediately the farmers can get what is the disease what are the recommendations so this is the two steps process immediately to detect the pest and disease this is an example for fusarium wilt similar like to take the cross section of the pseudo stem cut you know the fungal things lord machine will scan it and give answer for recommendation this is the one of the classification and also if you take the leaf portion so take the image and give you leaf spot disease so they will give the recommendation similar like if you see the plants so this is a banana bunch of affected these are the group of plants are there so immediately our machine will give answer Yes, this plant having 98 percentage this virus. This plants have 96 percentage. This plant 89 percentage are healthy. So based on this accuracy to detect and giving recommendation. So this was the technology for on farm field. This is banana bunch of virus. So don't want to take the leaf sample and do the DNA extraction and uh, doing primers and getting answer. The farmers get immediately in the on farm itself to get the recommendations okay and also we need healthy condition forget about disease how much healthily you are growing how much the plant is growing healthily so individual leaf portion we can detect so health condition of the plants also it is helpful for growth and development and yield prediction this is our best method to detect okay so we develop the machine the machine is giving answers okay so we feed the data the data now the series data inputs now output is giving our machine is giving correctly answering all the disease and healthiness what are all the process involved in validation and testing of this technology this is an important process we guess we need to test intensive test is very very important so how so we need test validation so my part is collaborative research my part is we tested in different parts of tamil nadu with the help of farmers and students okay so how we tested so if you take in tamil nadu so different part of tamil nadu with the gps position so for Kwaimbutu, Teni, Loyar, Palani hills Kolli hills pachamalai and Vilupuran district trichirapalli district salan district with the help of farmers and my students rural agriculture work experience so if you take different cameras okay different banana cultivars and different disease okay so the farmers they can can the farmers cannot have and they're not having for the advanced mobile they're having normal android mobile so our machine should answer all kind of peoples okay so with the help of different different kind of mobile technology we used and trained with the given technology also to the farmers and students this machine is answering or not so we tested with the help of the student friends and also we collected the serious inputs how it is giving the outputs so this was our training training with the students and farmers so they given so and also colleagues different parts of tamil nadu so we did the operations and also i am i am maintaining 95 plants in my college for maintaining the and tracking the our machine is working well or not so with the help of our farmers friends and my students the projects also working well so that we are getting 94 percentage some plan 100 percentage accuracy this was the real testing output so we trained the machine now the machine is giving correctly answer it what are your next level plans for this application drones okay the drones will take the images from aerial images to capturing drones then feed our machine the machine will give answer the drone images okay so take aerial views so now they see the advancement mobile technology to drones next drones to satellite yeah first see if you take the aerial images san romanos built this is for africa so very recently we drained our machine the machine the drone images it is giving answer so what are the applications no need to apply for the 
medicines, no need to apply first and pesticide and fungicide. Whole field, only targeted plants. Only targeted plants you need to apply or remove the plants to safeguard other plants. If you 10,000 hectares banana, if we cultivate, so easily we can find the disease. Which disease is happening? Or other, other plants are growing well or healthily growing. So this is helpful. For the drone images, no need to take individual plants. The farmer's point of view, they will detect pest and disease in the field itself. For the advancement, the drones will be helpful for to identify the disease. Similar like the satellites, we link the data into the satellites. First, we need to detect the banana detection. So if we take the aerial images, okay, aerial images, what are the place banana is growing? Okay, this is Congo. So the Congo, we make the studies, very recently the studies going on. So it's not a published, they are going to publish. So take the aerial images. So bananas, the yellow portion is banana. So the detect, first the plant. So the ground truth data, with help of mobile technology. What are the technology? We developed the mobile app. This mobile app is the basic tool for drones and satellites. So we can classify the buildings, other, other forest and banana. So oh, this is the helpful for mobile technology to drone, drone to satellite. So if you make 10,000, 20,000 hectares, even we can monitor whole Tamil Nadu, wherever banana is growing, we can aerial monitoring system should be helpful for growth and development and yield prediction, even crop insurance. So how the AI technology helpful for application? So the disease monitoring system we now developed. Okay, so if you take aerial image with the helpful of drones and also the mobile disease detection. So the mobile data, the ground truth data is helpful for both satellite application and drone application. So, so wherever, so, now, so Africa and India and China and North America and Australia. So we are now banana disease detection method is mapping and also the disease alert. Also we can give recommendation to whole earth. We can monitor with the help of this ground truth data. Okay, the mobile technology is helpful for to developing advancement. So how IAI technology helpful for monitoring the disease. Coming back to artificial intelligence, what are the other applications of it in the field of agriculture other than the image recognition which you used in your work? Okay, so that we need for yield prediction, pest and disease monitoring and crop insurance. How many acres banana is cultivating? So now how many acres is now droughtly prone areas. So the satellite and drone technology we can helpful with the help of artificial intelligence technology. Please share your concluding remarks. Point of view. So I finally I am concluding this machine learning process with the help of millions of farmers, farmers, the developing countries, the automated mobile app, also the satellite technology and drone technology, the deep transfer learning methods helpful for monitoring the whole earth okay these are the methods how the AI technology helping for agriculture similarly all kind of field even weed identification even forest trees how many forest trees are there how many forest trees were fired by natural firing how many species were disappearing in our earth so we can monitoring system the basic data is helpful for future agriculture so we can yield prediction, crop insurance, and also the monitoring of plant growth and development. Okay, for our agriculture graduates, the future, the huge opportunities were there for collection of data. So we are studying more than 63 papers, soil science and dermatology, pest and disease and physiology. So many papers we are studying in undergraduate. This, this science will helpful for future data collection and interpretation for the growth and development of the plants and yield prediction so need to feed our future generation okay so i am concluding this uh, ai technology helpful how the ai technology we develop and how we went through so these things so finally i am acknowledged to the big data in agriculture platform by cgar international center for tropical agriculture and biodiversity international and also the i am mostly helpful for our tamil nadu banana producer company in tiruchi and tamil nadu hill banana grower federation at dindigal district they are helpful for to collecting of data even testing of our ai technology so finally and thanks to given the opportunity for delivering this lecture to uh, ignited mind
students and others will learn this technology. Thank you sir for your detailed interview with the Agrarian YouTube channel. I request the viewers to subscribe our channel for more agricultural information.